Hello, Luis. Hello, teacher. How are you? Pretty good, thank you. How was your day today, Luis? Um, an easy day. I I'm I have a day off today. Oh, that's nice. Do you always have a day off on on Tuesdays? Uh, not really. Sometimes, but um, I have a day specific to rest. Oh, okay, so the day can change depending. Mm -hmm. Yeah, could be changed. Sometimes Sunday, Saturday. Oh, okay, like... good. All right. So, what did you do today? What? 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 How? How did you spend your day off? Um. Um. I. I. I woke up too later. <laughs> this is this 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 is the first things, and I'm just um went out for my lunch and um after I went to the supermarket and to the mall um only that well I, I was working in the platform <laughs> in the after in the afternoon all right that sounds fun okay good um just a little reminder um and we said uh, you said that you you said it's something about sleeping. What did you say about sleeping? Sorry. You mentioned something about sleeping. What did you say about sleeping? Ah, uh, I, I woke up uh, later. Okay, good. There is an ex there's actually um, a verb that we call that we use in English to talking about getting up later and that's actually uh we say sleep Overstep? in no oh. no no oh, okay I'll t the idea is similar but <laughs> yes, i'm going to okay uh the verb is sleep in and then we have the word that Raphael said which is oversleep um okay oversleep yeah but there's a different the, the idea is is the same in the in both of them you sleep more that's true but sleep in is more about um about when you have the opportunity of sleeping more than normally so for example you can sleep in on the weekends on saturday on sunday well most people wake up right um okay all right that's that's fine alejandra thank you for letting me know Okay, well, uh, but at least you can hear us, right, Alejandra? Yeah, okay, perfect. All right, don't worry about it, thank you. Um, just as long as you can, you can hear us, that's okay. But thank you very much for letting me know. Um, okay, so anyways, like I was saying, um, sleep is, sleep in is when you sleep more than you would normally sleep. Like on the weekends, you can sleep in maybe on Saturday. Uh, like normally you, on normally from Monday to Friday, you could wake you wake up at five o'clock, let's say, or six o'clock, and then on Saturday you wake up at eight o'clock or at nine o'clock. Then that's sleep in. But oversleep is when you sleep more than you should. So it's not mm -hmm. a good idea to sleep more, but you sleep more than you should. So in other words. I normally wake up at five o'clock, but I didn't hear my alarm clock and I woke up at six o'clock. <laughs> oh my goodness, I oversleep, right? I overslept mm -hmm. because I um, because I slept more than I should have. Whereas sleeping is that you okay. sleep more than normal. Do, do, do you understand the difference? Oh, maybe they were. Yeah, maybe the work will be oversleep today. <laughs> Teacher, so yeah, so and in the case that Luis said, how would be how would it be um using the verb sleep in? Could you give us a, an example or a sentence uh, by using that that verb, for example? Good question, Rafael. Uh, 
so I usually sleep in on the weekends. Slip I slip okay. in um, last Sunday. I'm looking forward to sleeping in uh, on my vacations. That will be like I have sleep more, right? Yeah, sleep okay. more than normally. Okay, so it's a good thing. It's a good thing to sleep in. Oversleep is just opposite. It's a bad thing. Okay. Um, are you going to sleep in tomorrow? Okay, so there you go. So some examples of how to use sleep in. I've used it in the simple present, is simple past, the, um, the, the gerund form, the future we're going to. Okay, so it's just a, like a regular normal verb. Just it's, I better say a regular normal phrasal verb because sleep in is a phrasal verb. It's composed of, of the verb plus the particle. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. All mm -hmm. right. So, um, does that does that help you guys? Does that make a little bit of sense? Yes. No. Yes, yeah, it's clear. Okay. Um, okay. So I wanted to tell you guys something. Um, by the way, yesterday. Um, well, Raphael, you asked me about uh, the the section 4.2. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure other people also have a similar question or will have a similar question. So uh, I'm going to tell you ahead of time. I already talked, um, I already um, informed, and they did actually make the changes. Um, so the the changes have already been made in the platform in section 4.2 except for a small little um problem with with um, that exercise number four uh which is still needing to be corrected with using have but with the when you use the get it's okay okay so if you use the word get for exercise number so Exercise 4.2, number four, if you mm -hmm. use mm -hmm. the verb get, it will be okay. All right, and but all it, the it others- wasn't, It wasn't, right? Sorry? Because, uh, but it wasn't. Um, no, 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 no. Because no. I, uh, yeah, because I yeah, tried uh, with get and, and it didn't work. Yeah, no, no, I, I, I informed. I informed today in the morning. Uh, I informed and um, they changed it. They just had to, I, I, I told them again about the second change that they had to make. Um, and they told me that they were gonna be, they were pending on that, that they were gonna work on it. But I checked later on and they still have not, have not um, fixed the second mistake, but it should be finished soon. Okay? So just letting mm -hmm. you know okay. that, um, your answer should be soon ready. Okay. All right. Any any other questions, guys? Teacher. Yeah. The, oh no 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 no. No, you know what? Um, today I was I was trying to solve the exercise that it is in that is in the in the final exam. Right. And I was trying trying and. Yeah, and, and, and I was trying to, and suddenly, and well, I, I wrote something that I had already written before, and then suddenly it worked. And I imagine that what's because of the changes, I, I imagine. 
because I re I had read because of what reading that the changes that they maybe did. Or... Um, I haven't informed anything about the final exam unless another teacher okay. has, but I haven't. Um, Just because I imagine that I I I wrote that 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 same sentence it like three times, and I was insist insist insist. And suddenly it appeared like, like good. <laughs> okay, well, it, it could have been, it could have been that they, they did change it, or it could have been simply that maybe you didn't notice that you had written a space. And the second, then when you kept on insisting, you, and the other, the time that they accepted it, you didn't write the space. I don't know. Okay. It could yeah, be, maybe. it could yeah. be, that, that, that happens. I mean, because it's very difficult to see spaces sometimes, um, especially if you put like the space at the beginning, right, or at the end, right? Well, uh, I, I'm really very careful about that uh, since the first time that happened to me. I always try to, to be very, very careful with each sentence, and, but I don't know, I don't, I don't really know could be the platform sometimes, sometimes i remember yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah i was i was working in i don't remember at what point exactly but uh, i remember uh, when i was working the when i was uh, uh working with the with the platform um i was uh reading um the arms cover when i was checking uh always uh, always it all the dance work uh, it was wrong um only i only passed uh, uh, to the other um to the, the to the other point and i remember three days or four days after uh, when i when i when i worked the same point i i i I I, um, I could I could finish this point, but I don't know. Maybe the platform is the pro problem, or maybe the internet is the problem. So yeah, it it does happen. I mean, remember, technology um, is not one hundred percent foul proof. You know, it it can actually um, sometimes have problems. So yeah, it's it's possible. Yeah, it it can be. Um, yeah, so sometimes we do just have to continue insisting. Um, and in the in the final exam, the, the exercise you were mentioned, Raphael, uh, was mm -hmm. that having to do with the same topic of the causative? Yes, and it was like the like the same um, example that was there. Oh. And in fact, they 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 are using the same verb, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Oh, okay. And what time? When was this? Um, is this? And let me check. Well, I don't remember. If if you want, I could uh, check right now. Oh no, no, no. It's okay. No, I just wanted to know. Was this like um, this morning or before or when? In the afternoon or what? The they fixed it. Or... That you got it. That it was. It finally was correct. Like. That you yes, finally yes, got it correct today, today in the afternoon because i decided oh. to to try it again I, I, um although i i i had already tried it before and so when in today at uh, the, the afternoon suddenly when the first time that i tried uh, they were good so that's why i i tell you that maybe they they did something <laughs> yeah it's a possibility i have not um, I'm not informed anything about the final exam, but maybe they decided let's check the final exam if it's wrong too. And uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe they did it on their own. I have no idea. Honest, like it could be that it could be. But the good thing is that you got it correct, right? That's the important thing. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right, guys. Um. So, yeah. Yesterday we were looking at some phrases that um, you can use 
uh, when we are talking about times in the past. And I asked you some questions um, to write down the answer to them. I, and then I got you to work in groups and ask them, did you have the opportunity of finishing asking your partner or do, or do you still need time with that? Class, did you finish or no? Yes, we finished. You finished? In my case. Okay. All right, Luis, you finished. Who are you working with, Luis? I was working with, with Josue. Okay. Okay. All right. But and, it's not here. Okay, yet. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. And um, Rafael, who were you working with? Um, I think it was, I don't remember. I think it was with, with the other Luis, I think. Oh, but he's not here. And he's not here. Okay. Yeah. Um, Manisela, were you in class yesterday? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. No, I couldn't join. I was sick. I am still sick. Um, I'm sorry <laughs> to hear that. Are you okay? Yes. Um, so, so. But I have to, I have to be here today <laughs> because it's the last week, but uh, the last week I was very, very sick. I feel so bad, right? Uh, but I'm, I'm here, teacher. I'm glad to see you. And I glad to hear my um, my class classmate. <laughs> Good, we're glad Hello, to have everyone. you, uh, Maricela. I know that you're not feeling so well, but I'm happy that you made the effort. So thank, thank you, you, teacher. Very I'm happy too. Yeah, and were you able to see the um, the class uh, on YouTube? No, teacher. Sorry. That's okay. It's okay. No, I just wanted, I was just asking because I wanted to know if, um, you know, if you understood what, what we had seen yesterday. That was all. That's the only reason. Okay. It's okay. All right. Okay. Diana, were you in class yesterday? Yes, teacher. Yes, right. And who were you working with? Yes, uh, and Rafael. You were working with Rafael and who? Uh, yeah. Luis Enrique? We, uh -huh. we were the three of you. Okay. And you guys finished? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think. <laughs> okay. All right. Very good. Okay. So, what I'm going to ask you guys to do then is the following. Right now, I, okay. So, just a little bit of a, I'm going to quickly go over the information from yesterday for those of you that were, were not here in the class yesterday or just simply to uh, remember. And just because uh, for time's sake, I'm going to do it very quickly and I'm just gonna do it all in the same color, <laughs> okay? So uh, we talked about time in the past. I'm not gonna look at so much about aesthetics right now. Um, time in the past. And we saw that times in the past, uh, we can look we can see, for example, um, points. Oh, sorry, points. Oh, sorry, point of time, not points. So, point of time in the past. Okay, and then we saw that we can use. Uh, different structures, for example, during the, for example, during the 1980s, during the 70s, during the um, 200, 2000s, etc. Et we could say in the, okay. uh, for example, in the 1900s, in the um, 
1990s. Okay, I was born in the 1990s, for example. Okay, or um, we can also say over years ago. So, um, for example, um, when uh, we talked yesterday about uh, when the when El Salvador uh, gained its independence, so you can say, oh, it, it gained El Salvador gained its independence over 190 years ago. Okay, so all right. So those are points in time in the past. So we can use any one of these structures. We also talked about that um, we have for a period of time in the past. Yeah, continues in the present. So we saw yesterday that basically this one is something that happened in the past and it finished. It's over with. Whereas this one is something that um, continues, right? Okay. This one continues up to the present. Oh. Yeah, I'm trying to, there we go. Okay. So this one continues up to the present. Um, so we can use since, okay. since, and then we say the specific time. Um, so I've, I've been studying English since 2017. Okay, so we have a specific time and it continues up to the present. And, or we can say for, um, for, um, for about the last years. So for about the last 10 years, I have been working at the same place for about the last 10 years. So we can use here um, the, the, like the, something that um, the amount of time that it has happened until the present moment, okay? Um, uh, and then we can have, over here we have uh, a period of time in the past okay. and for this one that means that this is we're saying how long something lasted in the past right so for this one we can use from to okay. then we for we said an example um how long uh, or when did you when did you study in high school I studied in high school from 2010 to 2013. Okay, so we're talking about a period of time in the past. It started in the past and it finished in the past, from this time to this time. Okay, we can also use um, four and then the amount of four years, blah, 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 blah right? Okay, so um, for example, um, he has been or better said, he, um, he worked there, he worked at the, or he lived in the same place for 50 years, right? Um, or they were married for 75 years, okay, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but I also mentioned that it's possible not only to use the word years, but to use words, uh, we can measure them in seconds or we can measure it in minutes or hours. Or uh, we can also measure it in days. Or weeks. Four months.
And over here we have years. And after years would come decades. And after decades would come centuries. And finally, we would have millennia. Millennia, sorry. Millennia. Millennia. There you go. Okay, so those are 10 different ways that we can talk about a period of time with the word for. All right. So that's just a uh, general uh, information of what we saw yesterday. Do you have any questions? Something you aren't sure about? A question you wanted to ask from yesterday and you forgot? You want me to clarify today? No? Okay. All right. What I want you to do right now is I want you to uh, I want you right now to create five questions. Five questions that you would like to ask a, your partner about um, about history of the past, right? Well, obviously history is about the past, right? But anything you would like to ask. To give an example. Um, Yesterday, I gave an example of uh, when did El Salvador gain its independence? So you can ask questions about things that would be um, would be like trivia about history. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. All right, so go ahead. Let's create those questions. We have five questions about history and about time in history. That's the important thing here, about time. Any history? Um, no history. Okay, so something that people would actually be able to answer. You know, some, you know, it could, it could be like international history, but it would be something that, you know, anybody could answer that, you know, something that's well known. Don't start asking things like, for example, I don't know, when did Uganda gain its independence, right? Because I doubt that many people here would know that answer. I don't know that answer. So yeah, something that's, that you know people would know that in general. If you guys have any questions, you can ask me. While well, you guys are finishing that up, I'm just completing this. Um, so it'll be easier for people to, the people that are 
um, the students got to have this class yesterday, but it sounds a little bit better. Okay, are you guys ready? Any questions? Whatever you want. Okay, you guys finished? Do you need more time? No, teacher. No, you have the, the questions? Everybody has the questions? Okay. All right. I have them, teacher. No? No. Okay. Oh, yet. All right. Uh, how much time would you need? How much more time? A couple of minutes. A couple more minutes? Okay. Okay. Yes. We'll give you two more minutes then. Thank you. Yeah. Teacher. Okay, so um, so that's two minutes. Uh, so what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to get you to work in um, small groups, or it's going to be a pair as well. So I'm going to get you to work together with some um, other people, and you're going to ask these questions. And again, the idea is to try to use this, even if you have to guess. You may not know the answer. Okay. You may not know the answer, but I want you to use these uh, different time periods that, or that you can um, use depending on what you're trying to express. So guess it, but use this. The idea here is to practice all of this, okay? And then what you can do if 
your partner doesn't know the answer either, you can always go and Google it and find out if your answers was, were correct. Okay? Got it? Okay. Any questions? No? Okay. So I'm going to right now um, put you guys into the breakout rooms. Let's see. Give me one second. Um, all right, uh, Alejandra, I know that you cannot uh, open up your microphone, but maybe in your group, what you can do is uh, write the questions and answers in the chat, okay? All right, so that, that can help you. All right, so right now, uh, hold on, just give me a second. So good enough, this for, okay. Um. So, teacher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we are going to use uh, the all of those structures, right? Yeah, as many as you can. Try to okay. to use. Um, you know, maybe you won't you won't be able to use all of them, but try as much as you possibly can to okay. use them all. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, so I'm going to open up the the um, rooms and then I'll come around and visit you to help you out. Okay, so there you go. And they are created. Go ahead and join. Sorry, teacher. We gotta answer the, the the questions or just to make the questions. No, make the questions. Mm -hmm. Like this is like a, a trivia. Let's say it's a trivia, yeah. right? Oh. So you're asking the questions, and your partners you're gonna see if your partners can answer. And if somebody knows the answer, you will you you will see if it's right or wrong. And oh, if you okay. don't, you can go ahead and like Google it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's do it. Um, okay, Diana, I'm going to start. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you know what happened? Do you know? Yes, what happened during the during the 80s, during the 1980s, here in El Salvador? 90s? 1980s? Um, no. <laughs> the Civil War, maybe? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you teach her like that, right? Mm. Okay, I'm gonna write it. Okay, good. Uh, and and Alejandra is um is writing down a question yeah, as well. I, uh huh. It's 1990s, right, teacher? 1980. Sorry? sorry, it's 1980s, right? No, 1980s. 1980. 
Okay, 19? No, no, 19, no, 19, no. It's 19. Okay, 19. Make sure you pronounce it 19. 80. 80. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, 19, 80. Okay, um, let's see, Alejandra. I don't have my, my question. Do you know when was the Independence Day in El Salvador? Um, what do you think about Alejandra's question, Diana? Um, do you know uh, that? It was in January of... Um, uh, Nin well, I only, I only in ninety two. What? In nineteen ninety two. But that's where the peace accord, I think. I ah yes. Yeah. Ah, I this question is from yesterday. <laughs> it was uh, peace treaties. Peace oh, treaties. Peace treaties. Okay. Yes, peace treaties. <laughs> mm. Treaties. Like okay. this, teacher? Yes. Okay, okay. Yes. Peace treaties, peace treaties, okay. So I think it was in the year um, 18, 80, I'm oh, sorry, 1821, I think. But this year, I start a... Uh, working like you independent in independent yes. with, with yeah with many centers no with only yes um, um i working in many centers but many centers haven't class current yes yes so you're quarantine you you are still in quarantine <laughs> yeah i'm still in quarantine actually yes yes i hope it's too hard I hope it's the next hard. year will be better. Yes, yes. Um, um, do you have another question? Um, yeah. How how long did you did you start to study English? <gasps> All my life, I. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know. I know what I feel. <laughs> When you start when you start studying in in, in the college, yes. Um, <laughs> for, but, but it doesn't work. <laughs> <That's> yes. <laughs> <laughs> for almost four decades. <laughs> yeah, I remember when when I was yes. studying at 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 my school. Yes. Bad, bad English. <laughs> No, my English was good, but it's difficult to me. <laughs> and, yeah, to um, me, it's, it's so difficult, but... but American, uh, American uh, teach uh, us in the first grade. Uh, so I study English <laughs> from 19... <laughs> I need to to, to today. <laughs> the same. <laughs> Can I say that, teacher? To today? <laughs> uh, no, no. It, it, it but be... sounds, but sounds good. <laughs> okay. From nineteen ninety two to right now. <laughs> no, in this case, it would be um since. Since I've been studying in since, since right, yes. Desde yes. Uh, continues in the present, yes. Uh -huh, yes, exactly. teacher. Exactly. Sorry. Oh, okay. Since 1992. Yeah. And the other thing, uh, Marcela, I wanted to mention was that, um, and that remember, if you're talking about the past, so you would have to say, not, not teach. What's the past of, te of teach? Teach? No. Teach. No. Teach. Teach. I don't remember, teacher. Tell me, please. <laughs> teach. 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 No, it's touch. <laughs> uh, no, touch, no. <laughs> no, teacher. It's teach, um, no. 
Let me see. No. It, it's similar to catch. Passive catch. What is the passive catch? Couch. Cow. Huh? Caught. Caught. Very good. Caught. And it's very similar. So what's the passive? Taught. Huh? Taught. Taught. Very good. Yeah. Taught. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Exactly. <laughs> okay. But everybody understand me, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I, I understand. Teach that. it. Uh -huh. uh, even, even the teeth. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Yes, but so I try. The idea is to improve, right? So, yeah, right. that's good. That's good. Continue. Right. Okay. Um, how long has the new president? Pre president. Sorry, in the government. How long has the new president in the government? Um, the over. Um. No. I say that there were, you're missing the verb. So how long has the new president? And then what's the verb? Uh, be in the government? Exactly. Be. The verb is be. So in this case, how what long? we have to use is the past participle. Is the past participle of be? Been. Uh huh. Exactly. How long has. Sorry, teacher, to me, is how long has, has been? Tener, how long, cuánto tiempo tiene the new no, president? Tiempo okay. Ha estado. Uh, how long has been? Yeah. How long has the president been? Has the president, okay. How long has the new president been in the government? Exactly, I don't know, but over one year ago. I hope. I, I think that is a period of time in the past that continues in the present since like 2019, right? Yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Um, and just one more thing, Luis, just be careful that since one is singular, you would not put an S. So when you can't say one years. You would just uh, say yeah. year. One year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, another question. Okay, let me see. Uh, okay, how long have you been going to the beach? How long have you been going to the beach? Have you been going to the beach? To El... Salvador. Oh, I'm missing only the, the mm -hmm. Yes, I think it's I think it's like that. We can invent, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look at okay. I think it was in the twentieth. Um the dollarization. 20 or oh, 21, I don't remember. This is the realization. But it was in the in this millennial. We can say that, right? It was in this millennial. Um okay, what about if I say something like what kind of music? Uh, did people used to listen to in the during the eighties? Mm. Rock and roll? No. I don't know. <laughs> uh, maybe romantic music. I think. Los temerarios. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ranchera. What? Okay. In the in the 80s, I said ranch. Okay. Um. I 
Alejandra, you can also uh, write in the chat your ideas too. Mm -hmm. I think that she have problems with connection, teacher. I wrote it in. Oh, okay, so she hasn't been able to write in the chat either? Yes, in <laughs> fact, she, she already wrote something because as at least what can I see here is that she wrote that the dollar is in El Salvador since 2001. Oh, okay, okay. So mm -hmm. she's, she's yes, because we were talking doing. about the dollarization. Okay, all mm -hmm. right. It's just I cannot see the, that chat because yes. um, <laughs> I, you know, uh, I was well while I was gone. So yeah, I just uh, I just wanted to make sure that that she she was having the the opportunity to participate too. Okay, teacher. Okay. Um, yeah. What is the verb conquistar? For example, when one country um, conquista to another country. Yeah, okay, so conquistar in that context is mm -hmm. conquest, or in that, that well, sorry, that's the, right. well, that's the right. noun, sorry. Conquest is a noun. The verb is, um, um, oh, hold on. The verb would be to conquer, conquer. And, mm -hmm. um, but if you're talking about conquistar as in like, um, like, like a relationship. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh then it would be, that's different. That would be woo. What? Woo. My God. Woo? Would you write? It sounds Chinese, I know. Yeah. <laughs> it, woo, it's, it's spelled, um, it's spelled W, hold on, let me just make sure. Um, it's spelled on. Find it right now. I, let me let me I'll, I'll continue and then I'll tell you in a moment, okay? After the spelling, but it is woo. Just give me a moment, I'll find out the spelling for you. Just but continue, continue without me. All right, pretend I'm not here. So continue asking each other questions. Okay. Um, okay. I was asking uh, when were the uh, sorry when was El Salvador con conquered? It is correct. Conquered. Conquered. I conquered. Think yeah. Okay. So, uh, so sorry, I just got the answer right now. Uh, okay. Wu is simply W O O. Ah. Uh, like <laughs> no, 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 it's not. It's not wo. It's Woo. Woo. W O O, which literally means in Spanish, uh, like cortejar, seducir. Mm. Oh my God. Okay. okay. Yeah. That's it, it, it is interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you, you, you're going to like that word. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Oh my God. Okay. So um, this, is, this is important to have meaningful vocabulary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, so the thing is, thing is, it's, it, I'm never going to learn all of the, the, the words in English. I think there are a lot. And oh my God, it, it's, it's difficult. Every day I learn a new word, a new word story. Yeah, well, you know what, Raphael? No one learned, no one knows all of the words in a language. You know, even in Spanish, I'm sure you don't yeah. know all the words yeah. in Spanish, right? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. there's always lot, there's always room to improve. There's always something to learn. So don't worry about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's just it's just a matter of knowing a little bit more every day than what you did before. So don't worry about it. Yeah. 
All right, well, anyways, continue. Like I said, forget that I'm here, okay? okay. Ignore me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, so let's continue. What were you? Is December. Well, well, well is is the season? Yes, it's the season. The people, the people are crazy. They're crazy. But those days is 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 awful. Really, yes. really awful. Yes, 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 yes. It's better to be uh, at home. It's better to stay at home. For mm -hmm. example, at the morning, I went to the I went to the mall at 10, 10 a.m. Yes. Um, um, <coughs> the traffic the traffic was horrible. Yes, yes. Um, I had a, a experience a bad experience last last night. Really? I, uh, to the La Gran Vía. Yeah. To, um, Santa Rosa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One hour. Really? <laughs> to the to the La Gran Vía to uh, Redondel. I don't know what I say. Redondel. Uh, I don't know. Uh, oh. La Gran Vía to the um, the Pelota. What? Mm -hmm. Uh, 30 minutes. 20, 30 minutes. minutes. Yes. And oh, oh, yesterday was very awful to me. Yeah. A bad experience. Uh, when I went. Seven, seven o'clock. When I went out those days, I tried to, to, to go, uh, went back uh, or go back uh, around. 3 p.m. Yes. Because uh, before or it's better. Yes. After 4 p.m. PM is awful. It's ah, awful. It's awful. Yes, yes. You can you can drive. You when can... when I was when I was working, uh well yes. for, for example, when I have a normal day, uh, I remember um sometimes I went out around uh, 6 p.m., for example, or 5 p.m. But when I when I went out, um, I remember uh, I always uh, stay at uh, at coffee. I, I bought uh, I I bought some coffee. I stay at at the gas station <laughs> for really? one hour. Yeah, I prefer that. Yes, yes. I prefer yes. that. Because the tra the traffic is very stressful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um but I stay at home for time is better. Yes, yes. But in my case I have to go out. I have to go out all the time. So and with with my illness, <laughs> but the but people. when you, when you stay at home uh, for for a month, ah <laughs> uh, yes, it's awful too. <laughs> yeah, mm, yes, because I have no money. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I remember when I was uh, when during the pandemic. Um, I remember the first day. I I I, uh, I remember I said, well I I I woke up, I'm slept in those days, but <laughs> eight months. <laughs> yes, no, uh, no, it's impossible. It's oof, impossible. It's yes, a sleep in is a, a new word to me. For us, for us of. <laughs> teacher, um, teacher, can you help me? <laughs> um, Farasal, far, far mm -hmm. what, what do you need help with? Farasal, <laughs> to say that word, Farasal, Farasal verbs, Farasal. Whoa, phrasal. Phrasal, <laughs> right. Phrasal verb, phrasal verb. 
Yeah. Phrasal verb. verb. Okay. Phrasal verb. So, um, Ed, do you have another question, Luis? No, I get. I I I don't have any more. And you? And I have another one. Um, how long time were the civil war in El Salvador? How long? How long were the civil war in El Salvador? Or how long time were the civil war in El Salvador? Okay, over, over 12 years, right? Years ago, over 12 years ago? Uh, right, I don't, I don't know in my in my room. All right, everybody. So uh, do you guys have a chance there to use as much as the, um, the phrases as possible? Yes, no? Yes, I think. Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yes. OK. Okay, good, excellent. All right, so do you guys feel that you have enough practice that you understand what to do? Yes. All right, great, excellent. Okay, guys, so that is going to be all for today's class. Um, tomorrow, we're gonna start with the last, the, the, the last and final um, topic of this module. So you can practice it and finish off the platform, okay? Uh, by the way, we are all on section five, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Richard, today, today I received the documents so that I can send Me too. them again. Uh -huh. And thanks because you asked them. Oh, okay. You got you. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome, Alejandra. Um, and um, sorry, I you they they sent you the documents today. Mm -hmm. They did. Oh, yes. okay. Okay, good. Got it. Excellent. Okay, sounds good. Um, okay, sounds very good. Very good. Okay, so that means, guys, that you can start um, uh, finishing it off from those those documents and. If possible, try to get them finished and um, hand it in, in the, during December you know, so that you will be able to participate in the next um, module for next year. Okay? okay? Okay, guys, that will be all. I will see you guys uh, next class, which will be tomorrow. Okay? So take care and have a good, a good night. You too, teacher. Yeah. Okay. See you tomorrow. Good, Good night, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Bye, everyone. You're welcome. Bye. Good night, everybody. Good night, Alejandra.